Hello and welcome to another product demonstration video by Night Designs. In this video, we're going to talk about an 82 through 84 Trans Am rear bumper cover. So the bumper behind me is just out of the mold. I trimmed the flash, so no primer, have, haven't sanded or primed it yet. Just raw gel coat. As you can see, there's no flange across the bottom like you would see on the original bumper cover. It also doesn't have that flange across the top. We don't need those anymore because of the material that this is made from. Because I'm using fiberglass, this is very rigid, very hard, so we don't need all those uh, flanges for the clips anymore. You'll also notice on the underside here, it has maintained all the original detail that the original bumper has. You got your two little nodules, or the two little indents for your screws to mount your license plate light. This will also arrive to you with this license plate light hole cut out and you can also see the nodules for your license plate to be mounted. You also have mount mounting flanges already built, to, built in. These flanges are nice and thick. I actually make the flanges thicker than I do the rest of the bumper. These are about 10 ounces of mat roughly, which equates to about 3 sixteenths, maybe just a fuzz more. rest of the bumper, but roughly 6 ounces of mat, give or take and about one-eighth of an inch thick throughout the rest of the bumper. So this bumper is going to be the one part that I can't guarantee you guys how it's going to fit. Now this is just me being honest and this is kind of my disclaimer. So because the back sides of these cars are so different, they can vary within a quarter of an inch based on what manufacturer your car came from. So that being said, um, I don't think I'm going to sell these primed and ready for paint because there's a likely chance that you guys will, may have to do a little bit of work where it meets the quarters. You may have to sand some of the width down. That was the anticipation when I made it. I'd rather you have to sand some off than I would for you to have to start mixing Bondo and start wiping the sides to build it out to fit your car. I'm not going to tell you that won't happen, but that's not the intent. Uh, like I said, the plan was that you had, would have to sand some down to make it fit. And also, the bumper will have a little bit of give to it. So you can buck one side down, get it nice and flush, and you can push the other side in and then tighten your bolts up. And you should be able to, it should have enough give for that as well. So just remember that when you're installing it. It's a little trick you can do. Um, but at this time, until I get some feedback from some of you guys that get them, uh, if, if they're fitting good and you guys aren't having any trouble, not having to make any major adjustments, I may go ahead and start priming them and sending them out that way, but I think this is going to be the one part that's going to make sense to just sell it directly out of the mold, which in turn will save you guys some money because you're not having to pay for primer. Um, I think that covers about everything on it. If you guys have any questions, once again, let me just add, this is for an 82, 84 Trans Am or Firebird 3rd Gen. If you guys have any questions, hit me in the comments box below this video, but better yet, Go to my Facebook page if you're not already in my friends list. Send me a friend request. I will accept that. There will be an album with images on my Facebook page so that you can see photos of this bumper up close. You will also be able to, I'll take pictures of this bumper mounted to my personal replica. And you can see all those um, there. So any questions or comments, comments box below or Facebook. And until the next video, guys, on the next parts, take care and God bless. Thank you.